Hey friend, welcome to Ask Dr. Betters. If you would like to know more about the ministries that we offer, check out the descriptions below. And also, have you, have you downloaded the Help and Hope app yet? I hope you'll do so, because there you will find a whole variety of things that we do and opportunities for you to plug in. You know, when I was a little boy, I was taught uh, in, in the Catholic schools that all of us have a guardian angel, that we're born with one. Now, I don't know whether or not that's true. I've not been able to really substantiate that scripturally, but I do know the Bible has a lot to say about angels. In fact, they are agents of judgment. They were the ones who came and destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, they were the ones who were present at creation. They were the ones who came and comforted Jesus after 40 days of uh, temptation in the wilderness. The angels were the ones who stood at the tomb after Jesus was raised from the dead. The angels were there when Jesus ascended into heaven. Two men, the Bible tells us, angels, stood by the disciples as they watched Jesus ascend into heaven and asked them why they were staring into heaven and claimed that there is another coming, the second coming, because Jesus will come back. This was the message of the angels. They were agents of blessing and they were agents of judgment. The Bible tells us in the end, when God destroys the heavens and the earth, he will do so utilizing the power of the angels. Now, you know, the Bible shows us their power in many different ways. Even the bad angels, the demons, those who have forsaken Christ. I mean, there was enough demonic, angelic power in one man to drive thousands of pigs insane in the story that we read about in the Gospels uh, or in, in the book of Acts where the, um, uh, the, the demons were cast out of the man uh, and those demons, those pigs went crazy. In one man, that much power, angelic power existed for evil. You know, when God said, when Jesus said that um, uh, when his disciples were questioning whether or not he should be crucified, whether or not he should die, uh, Jesus, you know, he told them, uh, and he also told Pilate this. He sat there and he told Pilate, he says, don't you know that if I wanted to that I would call upon my father who would send me 12 legions of angels to deliver me from this moment. You know, that's 140 some thousand angels. What power they hold. Incredible, superhuman power. Agents of justice, agents of destruction even. They will be the ones who escort the new heaven and the new earth in by destroying the old heaven and the old earth. After Paul talks about, or whoever wrote the book of Hebrews, talks about the hall of faith in Hebrews 11, talks about all the great saints that made up the Old Testament. And he lists them, I call it the hall of faith. He says in, in Hebrews chapter 12 and verse one, he says, seeing that we are encompassed by so great a cloud of witnesses, all those Old Testament saints, all those Old Testament angels, let us lay aside every weight, the sin that so easily besets us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. He says this also in Hebrews 13, the next chapter, and this will more specifically address your question question is this, Dr. Betters, can you share some insight on angels? Can we see them? 
Can we have an encounter with angels? Can we talk to them? Well, Hebrews 13 tells us this. He said, let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Yes, angels can take on human form, and yes, we can communicate with them, even though we don't know that they're angels. I have personally experienced this in my life on a couple of occasions. One was the day after we lost our son, Mark, in a car accident. Somebody came to our front door, a man who, for no other, uh, with no other explanation, was well-dressed, he had a coat and a tie on. Uh, he was clearly Italian. He looked Italian. And he stood on our front door. I invited him to come in. He said, I witnessed the accident. He says, and I just had to come to your house to tell you. And he went on to share with me that he was the first one to come up to the car. And he said to me, he said, I, I had the most blessed experience because your son had a big grin on his face. He said, I just want to come and tell you he's fine. And he disappeared. He left. I've never seen that man before. He never identified himself. Uh, I believe I believe he may very well have been an angel because the pain in our home at that moment was unbearable. It was unbelievable how painful it was in this home. Was he an angel? Did I talk with him? My son had a similar experience with a man who appeared to be a truck driver and came and sat at the back of the sanctuary while my son was playing the piano. He came for several days and just sat there, never identified himself. And eventually he did and said some things to my son that makes him now think I was talking to an angel. Was he? We don't know. They live in a spiritual world. There is an invisible war going on in the spiritual world every day behind the scenes. Battles being fought by angels over us. Not that the, the demons can win because when we come to faith in Christ, they've already been defeated. They've already been crushed. But they want to take us down, those demons. And I believe God has surrounded us with a cloud of witnesses that may very well include angels that have been assigned to us. There's a lot to be said in scripture about it, angels. Angelology is an interesting uh, study of, of, of doctrine. I believe they're there. I believe they can speak to us. And I believe that many times we've entertained them without even knowing it. Hope this helps. Hi, my name is Melissa Weisenfels, Executive Director here at Mark Inc. Ministries. Thank you so very much for your continued support of this video series. Ask Dr. Betters is not meant to be a substitute for professional counseling, but instead is designed to extract biblical principles around the questions being asked. We encourage you to seek professional counseling if needed.